Hey everyone and welcome back to part two of this tutorial. So I've got one side of the beaded rope done and already attached to that square component and we're going to be making the other side of the rope together today. In addition to that we'll be connecting the components all together and I'll show you how to make the beaded toggle clasp to finish off the piece. As a reminder, everything can be found in the Mountain Vineyard collection that I helped put together with Eureka Crystal Beads. And that link and the full list of materials will be listed right down below the video. Right now though, what you can do is string a comfortable length of beading thread onto a size 11 or 12 beading needle. And we will jump into the second part of this tutorial. All right, everyone. So we're going to start by doing a couple of rows of ladder stitch, and then we're going to be building our chenille stitch rope on top of that. So go ahead and pick up four of your Delica beads and string them down towards your tail thread. Sew through the first two Delica beads and then pull the thread tight. And now you have those two stacks right next to each other. You can sew down through the second two Delica beads, pick up two more, and then sew back down through the previous two again. Next, sew up through the two Delicas you just added. And then pick up two more and sew up through the previous two. And then you can sew down through the two new beads you added, just like that. Keep going until you have a total of six groups of two beads. Now reinforce those rows by going back through them, just up and down, back and forth through those stacks of two, back towards where you started. Now you're gonna form these into a loop so you can bring those two ends together, kind of fold it in half, just like that. And then take your needle and sew up through the two Delicas on the other side and down through those original two. And then pull your working thread and your tail thread. And that tail thread can stay where it is until you do a little bit more beading and then you can weave that back in to get it out of the way. Now to begin our chenille stitch portion, you can pick up two beads and you'll sew down through that next Delica bead and you're welcome to sew down through both of them in the row or just one. Then go back up through the next Delica in the next row. and pick up two more Delicas again, and sew down through the next Delica on that original ladder stitch loop. And you'll do that one more time, up through the next Delica bead, pick up two, and then sew down through the next Delica bead. And now you have the beginning of your chenille stitch portion with those new six Delica beads in place. Now sew up through the next two Delica beads. And to get started with that first row of chenille stitch, you can pick up one 15-0 and then sew back down the next Delica bead and up through the next one. Once again, pick up a 15-0 and sew down through the next Delica bead and up through the next one. And you'll do this one more time on this row. And 
and then you can sew up through the next Delica bead and proceed by sewing through the next 15 0. And you'll just be alternating rows of Delicas and 15 0s. So with this next row, you can pick up two Delica beads and then sew through the next 15 0. Then repeat that again. And then one more time. And sew through that next 15 0 and sew through the next Delica bead. So now you're ready for the next round with the 15 0s. You can pick one of those up. And then you're going to sew through the next Delica bead, skip the next 15 0, and sew through the next Delica. Pick up a 15 0, sew through the next two Delicas. Again, skipping the 15 0 below. And do that one more time on that row. And you can step up by sewing through that next 15 0 that you get to. And pull that tight. This will start to take shape. The more rows that you complete, the more it'll start to make sense. So just have fun with this. If you need to practice a little bit, don't be afraid to take it apart and try again. But the more beads you add, the more it will build on itself and it will get easier as you go. So keep going in this manner until you have the length of the first part of the bead rope that you'd like starting from the very back. In this example I have gone about five inches so if you'd like to follow that you can continue on and we'll meet back right before we add those next beads. Once the length of that first section is complete you can then Grab your other color of Delica beads and just make your next row with that next color, picking up two of them and sewing through the next 15 0. So just doing like you did before with the next row of Delicas. And then step up through the next 15 0. And then do your next row of 15 O's like you did before. Next, grab your three millimeter fire polish beads and complete your next row with those. You'll be inserting two in each section just like you would with the Delica beads. These will just take up some more space.
So now go back through all of those fire polish and 15 O's again, just to reinforce that section since the sizing is a little bit different. You want to make sure it's nice and strong. So just go all the way around at least one more time. So now on your next row, you'll pick up one 15 and continue through the next three millimeter beads. And you can also catch those other 15 O's in between on these rows too, if you'd like, which will help to continue to strengthen these sections even further. Now, once again, pick up two of your purple delicas. So through the next 15 O, then repeat that again. And do that one more time. Now sew through that section again to reinforce it. So pick up one 15 and then sew through the next two Delica beads as you normally would. Repeat that all around and then you can pick back up with the original Delica color again. And you're going to build another segment onto this, switching back to the original Delica color. Then go around and reinforce that section again. And that's optional, but I like to do that just because it is coming off of those larger beads and it just helps to make that section stronger too. And as you can see from this example, I went a little over an inch in this next section. When you have beaded that much, we can meet back and continue with our next group of larger beads. And now we're at the next section where we're going to be using our two millimeter fire polish beads in place of the Delicas. We're going to do that first, adding two of those in each section. And then following up with a 15 0 seed bead section. And you can also sew through the 15 0s below again just to reinforce that area.
And now continue by doing a row in the same manner, but with the three millimeter fire polish rounds. And now complete your next row, switching back to the two millimeter rounds. And now you can go through the beads again and reinforce that section. And now you can resume beading with the original Delicas, continuing to lengthen that rope. And feel free to reinforce that first row as well since you're going from the larger beads back to smaller again. And you'll want to keep going until you have about three quarters of an inch more completed. And at that point, we can meet back and I'll show you how to connect the rope to the beaded pendant. With your working thread coming out of the chenille stitch, and in particular, one of the 15 O's on the rope, you can then sew into one of the Delica beads that's on the outside of the top of that beaded peyote stitch section. And keep in mind that I have the ropes coming off of the square component with the slightly longer edges being in the direction of the rope. So just sew into that Delica that you can locate that's close to the top outside center and that's going to tack down one side of the rope and then you can sew through the next two Delica beads that are kind of in that row or in line with the first bead. After that you can sew through the 15-0 on the rope that comes next and if it's easier for you to flip over your piece to see where your needle is going feel free to do that. And when you're attaching that back 15-0 to the back of the rope, you can secure that to one of the central delicas 
sewing back and forth. And all three of those points you can reinforce by sewing around them again carefully. And you can just take your working thread and your needle and continue weaving back and forth through the Delica beads. And now, as you can see, we have both sides of our rope in place. They're positioned centrally over top of each of those peyote stitch sections to strengthen any areas you feel you need to. And now you can begin sewing through the next seed bead in between the next section and weave your working thread around back and forth through the beads to hide the thread. Following your thread path and coming out of one of the delicas that is on the inside edge. and also located centrally at the bottom, as you can see here. Now you wanna pick up one of your 11 O's, a three millimeter and a 15 O, and sew through that 11 O that's at the top of the teardrop pendant, and then make that symmetrical pick up a 15 O, a three millimeter and an 11 O, and then sew through the Delica that is at the opposite side of the one that you started with. And go ahead and pull on the working thread. And if you still have that other thread coming out of the pendant, you can just ignore that for now. And then sew back down the Delica next to the one you're coming out of. That way you can go down and around those beads at that connection point again to reinforce the area. You can sew back again. And when you're happy with that, you can weave in and trim off your excess thread. And now secure a new piece of thread at the beginning of one of those chenille stitch ropes. And this is optional, it's just if you want to extend this part of the rope out or not. And what you can do is just use your 15 O's to continue on with the chenille stitch. So we're adding in two of those over top of each of the two Delica beads to create that first row. And then sewing up through the next 15-0, picking up a new one. 
Then I'm going to go around and do a few more rows just like that. And whenever you're ready, we can start working on that peyote stitch toggle clasp, which is going to finish up this project. And now to begin the peyote stitch toggle clasp, it's actually really simple. We're going to make a strip of odd count peyote and then bring the sides together making one continuous cylinder. So what we want to do first is pick up 18 of our Delica beads and pull them down to our tail thread. And you can leave a four to six inch tail that you'll be weaving back in. Next, you can pick up a new Delica bead and then sew down through the second one from the top. So skip that last one. And when you sew down through that second to last one, then you get those two that are going to sit side by side at the top of that beadwork. Next, you'll pick up a Delica bead and sew through the next one. And continue repeating that all the way down, picking up a bead, skipping a bead, and sewing through the next one, pulling tight. And just hold on to your tail thread and the beads that are still loose for now till you get to the bottom. But it'll get easier after your next row is complete. So just keep going until you have a total of five beads on each row, and then I'll show you how to zip them up and close the beads into a loop. All right, so when you have your strip that is five beads wide, you can then fold it in half, take your needle, and sew down through the Delica bead right next to the one that you're coming out of on the end, and then just zigzag through the Delica beads on both sides, bringing both sides together tightly, and they should click into place in such a way that you won't even see where the ends were located.
And once you reach the end, you can then turn around, sew back up through the Delica bead that's next to the one you're coming out of, and then zigzag back up to reinforce those sides together. Now keep going till you get to the other side of the bar portion. And when you're coming out of your last Delica bead, you can then actually sew through the entire tube of beads so that you're coming out on the other side. And you can grab your 3mm fire polish and a couple more 15 seed beads. Next, pick up a 15 and a 3mm and a 15 and then sew down through the entire bar portion again and pull really tight so that that fire polish is sitting sideways and pick up another 15 fire polish and 15 and you can sew back through the bar portion in the other direction and then sew back through the three beads you just added down the bar portion and you can continue reinforcing the beads in that next section as much as you'd like before we move on. And now continue sewing back through the peyote stitch tube and I'm just weaving in my working thread a little bit back and forth and instead of knotting it I'm just going to make several passes in different directions and then trim that off. And then since I have that long tail thread, I'll be adding a needle to that and using that to connect this to the necklace. So I'm going to sew down through that peyote stitch portion and come out probably after about the eighth bead. With the bar portion form just like it is, you can then eventually work your way towards the center of the length. So you could be coming out of like the eighth delica. And that's where we're going to make a couple of loops and attach the clasp to the rest of our necklace. Alright, so now pick up two of your 15 O seed beads and just sew through a couple of the 15 O's that are around that outer ring on the rope. And then sew back up through those two 15 O's you just added and pull tight. That's going to secure one side of the rope to the clasp. And then you can sew through a couple of Delica beads. And when you're coming out from just about two Delica beads over, pick up two more 15 O's and then sew through a couple of 15 O's that are on the opposite side of those other two you added before. Sew up through the two seed beads again. That secures your other side. And now you can sew through your Delica beads on the bar portion, weaving the remaining thread back and forth a few times, being careful that you don't break any beads. And if you need to, you can switch to a smaller size 12 beading needle if you're using a larger one at this point.
And once you're satisfied with how secure that is, you can then trim off the excess thread. And to complete your other side, you can add some thread if you need to and be coming out of one of those 15 O's on the outer loop. Then pick up a three millimeter fire polish bead and sew through one of the 15 O's on the other side. Then you can sew through that three millimeter again and reinforce the section as much as you like. And then to form the loop for the clasp, you can pick up an alternating pattern of 11 15 O's and 11 three millimeter beads plus one more 15 O. So just string those down gradually as you get them on your beading needle. Once you have all those on, then sew through the three millimeter that's at the very top of the rope. And you'll wanna sew through that ring of beads at least two more times before you knot and tie that off and secure your remaining thread, at which point you can then trim it off and your necklace is complete. And here is our completed necklace. I wanna thank you all so much for watching both parts of this tutorial. It's always great to have you. Feel free to leave a comment down below, especially if you decide to make one of these necklaces. I'd love to hear about it. Feel free to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and feel free to share the video with your other beading friends. Don't forget you can find the Mountain Vineyard Collection at Eureka Crystal Beads and that link as well as the full materials list are located down below. I hope to see you all again next time, and until then, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, and as always, happy beating.